In this video, I'm gonna quickly teach you how to make this cool loading bar in After Effects. You can download this project file in the description down below. Making a new tutorial for each day of the year. Day 76 of 365. First, let's grab the rectangle tool and let's make the shape you want for the loading bar. And let's center this with Ctrl Alt Home and Ctrl Home. And this first layer will be the frame of our loading bar. So we have to increase the stroke. And now go here to fill and disable the fill, select none, hit ok, let's call this frame. Now to add some roundness to this bar, go to rectangle 1, rectangle path 1, here you have the roundness and you have to increase it. We already have the frame, now let's duplicate this layer with ctrl D and let's make the bar, so let's rename this to bar. And for this layer we need the solid, so go here to fill and select solid. We don't need the stroke, so go to stroke and select none. I want to have a little margin between the frame and the bar, so let's go inside of this layer to contents, rectangle 1, rectangle path 1, and we have to decrease the size. But you will see this doesn't work really well, so we have to unlink this, and let's move each of these values individually, until you have something like this. And you see this bar have more roundness, that's why you can see here a little hole. So we have to decrease the roundness also, there you have it. And to give this a more loading bar look, we are going to add the effect Venetian Blinds. Now increase a little bit the transition completion, you will see all of these little lines and you can increase the width until you have the desired look. You can add this only if you want. Now to animate the bar, we are going to add the effect stroke. And now we have to make a path for this stroke. So select the pen tool, make sure to select the bar layer, and also make sure to select here to create a mask. Now we are going to do a single straight line from one side of the bar, something like this, to the other side, hold shift and click. Now go here to the stroke effect and select reveal original image. We don't really see anything yet because first we have to select the mask, so select here all mask and increase the brush size. Now you will start to see the bar. Decrease the spacing to zero, we don't need the spacing. And now we can animate this. So make a keyframe for end, press U to see that keyframe on, on the timeline and first let's set this to zero. Now let's move forward and set this to 100%. And if you don't want this part of the line to be so rounded, you have to increase the brush size, something like this. But here at the beginning you can see it starts suddenly, so we have to move the mask. Let's go to the first frame you see the bar, and let's move this mask point until you don't see the bar anymore. There you have it, now it will start slowly. And we have to make the same thing for the end. So move one keyframe before it finish and grab with the selection tool with P this point and move it while holding shift back. There. Now this loading bar works good. We can easy these two keyframes with F9. We will have this animation and we can adjust the speed. So go here to the graph editor. I'm using the speed graph and let's select one point and move this little handle. If we want to make this to end slowly, we have to move this handle all the way over here. And you will see, it will start fast and then end slowly. You can adjust this as you want. Now that we already have this animation, we can give this a better look. So first, instead of selecting a solid color for the fill, we can select a linear gradient or a radial gradient. I'm going to select this one. And you will see these two points over here. With these points, you can control the gradients. So move it however you want. And also here you can change the gradient colors. And also control the midpoints. I'm gonna leave it like that. And now I'm going to add my preset Better Glow. You can download it in the description. We don't need to see all of this, only this. I'm gonna decrease the threshold, increase the intensity, decrease the opacity, and increase the radius. And we will have this. Now let's add a text layer with the progress. So select the type tool, click, and type 100% to see how it will look. 
I'm gonna leave this right here. Now to animate this number we have to add a slider control to the text layer and select the bar, press U to see the keyframes. Now go to the text layer, double click in the slider and you will see the slider in the timeline. You will have this little pick whip, grab this pick whip and select the end property of the bar. And now it will follow the value of the bar, you can see it here. Now to make the text layer to show that number, we have to open text, you will see the source text, I'll click in the stopwatch, grab the pick whip and select this slider value. And now you will see the same number of the slider but with a lot of decimals. So how do we get rid of these decimals? We have to modify the expression. First we have to select the value, so type that value and now to select the decimals we have to type that to fixed you will see the code here and press enter and here between these parentheses you have to type how many decimals you want if you don't want decimals you type zero if you want one decimal you type one and so on i don't want decimals so i'm going to type zero now let's see and now I don't have decimals. Now I want to add a percentage character. To make that, go back to the expression and now let's type a plus and in quotation marks we have to type the percentage. Now let's see. And there you have it. So now it doesn't matter how we move the bar, the number will always follow it. Also I want to animate the color of the text, so I'm going to add a fill, select this color, make a keyframe for the color, and here at the end I'm going to select this color. Grab both keyframe and this is with F9. Now I also want the glow, so I'm going to select all of this glow effects, copy and paste it over here. And we'll have this really cool loading bar. If this was helpful for you, consider liking and subscribing. You can download this project file in the description down below. If you're starting in motion graphics, want to improve fast and build a solid portfolio, join Animation Essentials in the link in the description.